Hey, I'm Adam Azer with NCAA.com baseball editor Doug Kroll. Our college baseball preview continues with the North Carolina Tar Heels, the number two national seed. So this team hits 324, very good fielding percentage of 972, and probably the best pitching staff in the country, Doug, so this is a very balanced team. Yeah, they're probably the most balanced team in Omaha this year. When you take into account what they've done the last couple years as the national runner-up, it means that they're season two. So they don't have Oregon State to deal with this year, who they lost to the last two seasons in the CWS final, so mentally that has to be a plus. And this team took 2-3 to three at Florida State and at Miami this year, so they don't care who they're playing or where they're playing. Now on paper, if you look at the numbers, one thing that might stand out as a negative would be the power numbers. Yeah, they're the second lowest home run hitting team of the field of eight in Omaha. They only have one player, Tim Fedroff, who has double-digit home runs. I've said it before, they played in a very big park down in Cary this season, and that park did not yield too many home runs, but either does Rosenblatt, except when the wind is blowing out, the ball does tend to carry. So if they're going to win some ball games, they're going to have to play their own game. They don't have the same power that FSU, LSU, Georgia, and Miami have. So like I said, they're going to have to play their own game to win some ball games. All right, who are some of the players that we need to look out for? Well, I think a lot of them reside in the pitching staff, especially their ace, Alex White. He was the ACC Pitcher of the Year. He's 10-3 and three with a 2.75 ERA. And out in the bullpen, you have to watch out for Rob Wooten. He's got a 1.80 ERA in 55 innings this year. In the lineup, sophomore first baseman Dustin Ackley. He's leading the team with a 4.08 average, and he's only made one error in the field. UNC opens on Sunday night against the LSU Tigers. Make sure you log on to NCAA.com for previews of each team in Omaha. For Doug Kroll, I'm Adam Azer for CBS College Sports.